today you are going to learn the presses. We are going to talk about the strict press and the push press. All of these movements that we are doing have words before them because they indicate what you're using or not using. The strict press only involves arms. The push press is a movement where we're being aided by our legs. So some of the keys that you'll see, some of the notes that you'll see, we talk about making sure that you keep that rib cage down. This is our rib cage right here, right? When we're pressing, we often have a tendency to arch to get some pec muscle involved in the press. We want to be able to build out that strong core. It's also why we mobilize our shoulders first. So I want you to try to keep this rib cage locked down as much as possible as you're pressing to build out that stacked core. Super important as we move on and we start learning handstand push-ups, thrusters, wall balls, all kinds of fun stuff. So your strict press is going to start from the front rack position. We talked about that yesterday with your squats. Now, um, you might not be able to get the PVC pipe, which that's what this is, resting on your shoulders. It's easier when we have a little bit of weight to press down. But we're going to talk about it with light weight, and then we'll move on to, if you have it, heavier weight. So the strict press is literally just, it's also called a military press, pressing that barbell or PVC pipe up overhead, okay? Again, trying to keep this rib cage locked down as much as possible, squeezing that butt to help us keep nice and stacked, finishing the rep with my head through. So not here because that's not a finished rep. Full extension is my head slightly through, okay? Now, if you are at home and you don't have access to a rig, you are going to grab your band. You're going to get it in that front rack position as best as you can, and you're going to practice those mechanics. You gotta move your head out of the way while you're pressing. Very important. Okay? If we have a barbell and we're at the gym, you are setting it up just like you did for your front squats, back squats, everything you'll notice when we're working on the rig, for the most part, starts with the same setup. Barbell is on our J-hooks at about shoulder height. Always remember, I never go up on my toes. When in default, I always set it up lower than higher. Okay, I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did with my front squats. I'm going to set it up the exact same way. My hands are going to be about a thumb's distance away from where the smooth meets the knurling. I'm going to get it in my front rack position. I'm going to move my microphone so that the barbell doesn't interfere. And then I'm going to walk out, okay? I'm going to tuck that rib cage, squeeze that butt, eyes forward, get my head out of the way, press, finish with my head in front. Then I'm done, walk in, rack, set it down, good to go. You're going to pause the video and you're going to go do the prescribed amount of reps, focusing on rib cage down, squeezing that butt, strong arms, finishing with my head slightly through. Go ahead and pause it and I'll see you in a second. Three, two, one, and <laughs> welcome back. So you did your strict press. And it was fun if you did it with a band. Your shoulders are probably super nice and warm. Now we are going to talk about the push press. So the push press is a press that gets us a little bit more weight overhead because we get to use our legs. So we have the exact same setup as we did with our strict press. But now what I'm going to do is called a dip. So I'm going to bend my legs a little bit, and I'm going to use that momentum from my legs to help get that bar up overhead, OK? The things that I want you to be mindful of from the start is how I dipped. If I dipped like this, what's going to happen when I go to put the PVC pipe overhead? 
it's going to come up like that, right? So no big deal if it's a PVC pipe, but if I was trying to do that with 150 pounds, I'm not going to have a successful lift, right? So I want you to start practicing from the, this very, very moment. When we dip, we always dip with chest up, and we dip keeping a chest up, okay? So I'm not doing this because I'm not going to jump. I'm sitting back in my heels, and I'm keeping that weight over my feet, okay? And then when I drive up, the barbell goes up, cool? So I want you, when you pause in just a second to practice this, to be mindful of where is your shoulder when you dip. If you notice that it does this, I want you to stop and correct yourself. I want you to be mindful of pausing for a second, checking, okay, where's my balance point, and then exploding. If you are using a band, you are doing the exact same thing. We're here, dip, press, dip, press, dip, press, okay? Again, we're practicing these motions so that when you do go to your first gym, you'll know what you're doing. Barbell, front rack position, exactly like the strict press, okay? Hands are about uh, some distance away from the smooth. I set it up. Now, I'm dipping, making sure that I keep my chest up. Explode and press. Use that momentum to aid getting the barbell up. All right, team. These are the presses. You are going to go practice the prescribed amount of reps for your push press, and then we are going to get ready for our Metcon.